welcome to another episode of Dollar to Bot, an American expat living in Thailand. Uh, today's episode is uh, for my new series, My Expat Life in Thailand. Today's episode is about how to live in Thailand. I would say how to live in Thailand as an American citizen, uh, as someone who looks Asian at least. Um, I think it's about perspective. I think it's about what you want. I think as I'm talking to my friend uh, more recently and, and kind of wrapping his head around how I'm doing and how things are going and uh, wanting him to visit, I think um, I think it's about perspective. I think it's about um, the things that I want in my life, things that uh, motivate me and guide me and strengthen me. Of course, everything is um, from God, um, from Jesus Christ. You know, I, I live my life for Him, um, but in the end, He's the one that guides me in, in this path and in this journey. Um, you know, but of course, you know, with with the culture here, the Buddhist culture and Muslim culture, it's a very unique, I would say. Uh, so I think understanding the cultural norms, the respect. Um, you know, just respecting other people and just giving them that love and care that you have for them and, and for um, the bonds and relationships that you have. Just treating everyone with the right amount of respect. It goes a long way, I would say. I, I would say that um, in general, the Asian culture is a certain way, so we live that already. But I think as I'm evolving um, from my American mindset, I think it's interesting to see how life is different here um, as an American and as you know I've always learned these things that growing up but you know putting it in action putting it into play I think it's a whole different ballgame which is good for me I think it allows me to really explore who I am uh, as an Asian American and as someone who lived in Japan and visited Japan often as a kid and um, trying to figure out my identity as a, as a Japanese and trying to and as American and now living in Thailand I think it's about um, it's always about respect but now I've learned a, a even greater respect when you treat that to others and, and especially with my co-workers or people around the community and just being present to that mindset I think it's it's really um, effective here because we all want to be respected but there's a different level of respect when you treat them that way you know they they care about you more they um, they have a different tone and attitude and they change their way of looking at you whether I have a disability or not that that changes their way they view and, and want to be compassionate and help me yes you could say it's about merit yes you could say it's about this and that but in the end I feel like it's just it's just simply about respect and I think that, that's one thing that I really love and, and learn and I'm learning more and more each day, you know, to just be present, to just give myself in a loving and caring way and respectful way, like anybody. But here, it's it's more revered, and it's not just about selfish respect, but rather respect for yourself, respect for that person, respect for um, the community as a whole. I would say because people here are very respectful and respectable, so I think that's really. Um, um, helpful for me to see I think this is just part one of this journey that I'm exploring in this conversation of how to live in Thailand in a way where respect is very big and that will go a long way so I think that's one thing that I'm learning and continuing to learn now so keep that in mind and just um, have that sense about yourself and um, 